do it. You can introduce okay. yourself. Oh. I'm Bob McKenzie, and Bernie will be playing the phone behind me. <laughs> it does that very well. Okay, okay, so I'm, I'm the first four, and then the third and fifth. And I'm just going to do them. You and I were friends once, singing wide-eyed love songs, loving two for oneness, you and I and our dads. Clouds were painted fluffball lion's manes and breezes, drifting parachutes, breaking up old friendships. Rain today recalls you, storms so long ago now. Where are your eyes, love? Wide as the clouds are melting. I would photograph you. I would photograph you in just that way. You reclining among the wind-blown grain, the sun winnowing its light through your hair, your cotton summer dress soft in its light. You would be resting there in the sunlight, gazing up the hill at that warm farm home, inviting you to come when you're ready, like that shining city you see in dreams. I would add color to this photograph. Clover, perhaps, or daisies in the breeze, and bright paint on that old gray house and barn, and add a bright print to your cotton dress. I would photograph you in just that way, lit by sunlight in a world of flowers where songbirds sing and the sun seeks you out. But most of all, I would photograph you. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> Now in the silent half-light before dawn, she sits quietly waiting for something, unaware of what she expects to come, as dawn's mist obscures the beasts in the dark. The soft turquoise of her nighty wraps her, but doesn't stop the chill mists of the night, cold fingers of the dead touching her skin, with soft caresses calling her to come. Still, in the silent half-light before dawn, she sits and feels a shiver take her over, and she can't tell if it's from chill or fear. Around her, she senses the night dying. This is the girl. Oh. This is the girl. The voices are there, hidden in the night, where the girl can hear their every word. Hidden behind corners and whispering secrets along the street and in the trees, she shivers in the darkness and moves on, knowing the shadows follow and whisper, not only secrets but darker threats, all in languages only she understands. Somewhere near an owl's hollow hoot calls her. Her name echoes off the city's hard walls. Cat's wails follow in bitter harmony. The girl only half understands but fears. The street falls silent, but the girl hears still, shadows whispering darkly toward her, the hush following her every step, she falling into ever deeper dark. Sometimes the girl hears footsteps behind her. She turns to look, but sees only the darkness. She sees the shadows slide along the walls. She shivers in the darkness and moves on. There's no sky behind the ink of night. The moon hides behind a black mask of clouds. Someone has broken the street light bulbs. The voices are there, hidden in the night. She shivers in the darkness and moves on. Shadows move slowly along the dark walls. Shadows whisper dark threats, only she hears. She shivers and moves on through the darkness. Somewhere far away a siren shrieks out. The siren bounces lightly off the walls. The girl hears only the voices that follow. She hears only the whispers in the dark. A faraway siren meets the darkness. The wail underscores a doo-wop song. Owl and cat harmonize with the siren. The girl hears but only half understands. The girl is alone in the darkest night. The darkest night hides deep inside the girl. There's no escape from the voice's whispers. There's no escape from the creeping dark. Somewhere near an owl's hollow who calls her. An owl in the same How strange, she thinks. Her name bounces off hard walls into black. Cat squeals follows her name into the dark. 
The girl hears voices no other can hear. She hears and she understands dark whispers. Threats in the night touch the girl deep within, hide behind corners and whisper to her. The dark grows thicker to smother the girl. Not ink now, the dark becomes a living tar. The girl is wrapped in a black tar blanket. From somewhere the girl hears a siren call. The voices are there, hidden in the night. She shivers in the darkness and moves on. Somewhere near she hears an owl's hollow call. The street falls silent, but the girl hears still. Sometimes the girl hears footsteps behind her. She shivers in the darkness and moves on. There is no sky behind the of night. Somewhere far away a siren calls her. Night's dark blanket scares her only a while. Deep in her heart she feels new warmth growing and drowns in night's warm, comforting embrace. Falling into deep sleep, the siren wakes her. Fear releases the girl and blankets the warmth. In her heart is only the darkness she fears. In the night there is nobody to save her. There is only the shadows and the song. A scream slices the dark, startling the girl. A scream seems to come from her own body. Nobody hears. Nobody hears but her. She turns toward the darkness and moves on. Somewhere in the night a duo song plays. Dark harmonies draw her into darkness. The dark rhythm carries her past some threshold, carries the girl toward dark beyond night. The voices are there, hidden in the night where the girl can hear their every word and shivers in the darkness and moves on and knows the shadows follow and whisper. The shadows whisper from deep and dark corners, secrets told on the street and in the trees, not only secrets but darker threats, told in languages only she understands. The girl is alone in the dark, crying. Nobody hears, nobody knows but her. The girl follows a sound through the darkness, from somewhere she hears a duo melody. Dark voices whisper to her through the night. Threats in the night touch the girl deep within. Somewhere far away a siren shrieks out. Somewhere near she feels something dark approach. She sees only shadows, hears only the song. Nobody hears, nobody knows but her. She shivers in the darkness and moves on. Shadows follow slowly along dark walls. The girl hears voices no other can hear. She hears and she understands dark whispers. There's no escape from the whispered voices. There's no escape from the creeping dark. The voices are there, hidden in the night. The girl hears but cannot escape them. Hidden behind corners and whispering secrets through the trees and along the street. The stream echoes louder in the darkness. There is no escape from the creeping dark. There is no escape from the screams in the night. The girl has lost her way in the darkness. Shadows move slowly along the dark walls. She shivers in the darkness and moves on. Knows the shadows follow her and whisper, whisper dark threats that only she can hear. Something in the night reaches deep in her. She shivers and walks into the darkness. She drowns in night's warm, comforting embrace. The girl falls into perfect sleep to dream. The sun shines brightly from the clear blue skies. Threatening voices and dark shadows hide. The girl is at peace in a perfect day. Far away, a doo-wop song fills the air. Wow. This is Edge. I've been standing in the cold, falling rain, hearing the pulse of its heart beat down, seeing the dark images in its shadows like the visions of ancient prophets. And I have seen that I stand in the gutter between the edges, between worlds apart, between gay and straight, between rich and poor, between capital and commune, between woman and man, between every possible polarity you can dream looking at those edges, not from the other side, but from somewhere between, which is nowhere, and I have disappeared. Don't get me wrong, and don't get it twisted. It may, after all, have been only a dream. It may be I have seen nothing at all, and there was nothing at all to see in the rain. 
nothing but a magic shadow show played in a box lit by sun and moon against silhouettes of rain around which we phantom figures come and go, the rain falling like knives, slicing the dark to create worlds then wash them away in a flash, lit by lightning that wakes me with a start. The words of the prophets echo down the centuries, truth grows tired and worn until the words are only dust, choking off the little breath we gasp to survive, the uncertain future we have created for ourselves. And in the words we hear echoing somewhere distant, the pulsing of a heartbeat pounding like a hammer and feel that pulse drawing us out toward the edge. I've lived too long, too near the edge, stood too close to where it happens, seen what I should not have seen and heard it all and hear it still in living dreams I cannot escape. There are people living on the edge. It's true, I've seen them there clinging to the thin line between them and the other side of their reality, have stood behind them as they clung, helpless noses pressed to some window, to some place they could not enter. And I've stayed in the shadows, knowing they would not see me there. I have seen, I have seen, I have seen the best minds of my generation, and they are the same as those seen long ago, and they are not just America. And they are not destroyed after all, nor drag themselves through black streets, but stand waiting arm in arm to hold firm against that rough beast its hour come round as it slouches unrelenting through every street, seeking some holy land and preordained birth. Don't get me wrong, and don't get it twisted. Many people strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. But what does it matter in the end? What does it matter who is hero and who not, when it may, after all, be only a dream? And there was nothing at all to see but the rain through which we come and go like phantoms, as the rain falls like knives, slicing the dark, impulse of winter midnight streetlight rain, creating worlds that wash away in a flash of lightning that wakes us with a start. There are people, cries in the wilderness, there are people, cries in the wilderness. There are people gathered in the streets, flooding the streets of every town and city, cries in the wilderness of gray streets, gathered with pens and with pitchforks, crying for justice all over this land. Men and women standing arm in arm everywhere, warning of danger, crying out of warning, cries in the wilderness. In the room, the people come and go, talking of what they have seen out there. But they don't go up there and they and they do do anything to stop it. In the dark in the room the people watch. In the silence in the room they listen and drown and wash in flickering images and drown in the battle's sound and fury across the universe and back again. And still falls the rain like helpless tears. He stands in the shadows of the evening rain, the gentle rain that falls for years. Just a little boy standing in the rain, and rain keeps falling like helpless tears. Still falls the rain with a sound like the pulse, the pulse of the heart that is changed to the hammer beat, and rain keeps falling like helpless tears. The boy disappears. Still I feel the heartbeat beating underneath everything, the pulse of the heart that is changed to the hammer beat, the pulse of the heart that hammers out love, the pulse of the heart that hammers out danger, the pulse of the heart that hammers out a warning, the pulse of the heart that hammers out hatred, while the rain keeps falling like helpless tears, while the best among us lose all conviction, while the worst grows full of passionate intensity, and the heartbeat pulses beneath everything. Don't get me wrong and don't get expressed. It may after all have been only a dream. It may be I have seen nothing at all and there was nothing at all to see in the rain. Nothing but a magic shadow show played in a box lit by sun and moon against silhouettes of rain around which we phantom figures come and go. The rain falling like knives slicing the dark to create worlds and wash them away in a flash lit by lightning that wakes me with a start. I've lived too long too near the edge, stood too close to where it happened, seen what I should not have seen and heard it all, and hear it still in living dreams I could not escape. The words of the prophets echo down the centuries, truth grow tired and worn until the words are only dust, choking off the little breath we gasp 
strength to survive the uncertain future we've created for ourselves. And in the words we hear echoing somewhere distant, the pulsing of a heartbeat pounding like a hammer, and feel that pulse drawing us out toward the edge. Surely some revelation is at hand. Cries in the wilderness between the lines. This is the way the world ends. Cries in the wilderness between the lines. This is the way the world ends. Cries in the wilderness between the lines. This is the way the world ends. As we stand waiting arm in arm to hold firm against that rough beast. Its hour come round as it slouches unrelenting through every street. Seeking some holy land and preordained birth, and some ancient anarchy is loosed upon the world. But don't distress yourself with dark imaginings. No doubt the universe is unfolding as it should, and the dark you see is only rain falling. Too long living not on the edge like some. Too long living in the gutter flows, between the edges where the shadows flow, between the edges able to see the dark, see the dark that consumes their lives. I'm with you in Rockland, he shouts out loud, cries from the wilderness with conviction. Is anybody out there, does anybody hear him? Is Rockland just another dream in the dark? His voice an echo of something that is no more? A cry in the wilderness between the lines? I'm with you in Rockland, fades in the distance. His voice disappears. But don't get me wrong, and don't get it twisted. It may, after all, have been only a dream. It may be that I have seen nothing at all, and there was nothing at all to see in the rain, and I have disappeared. This is rain. Sanity 
is a strange thing. You lose it so easily when you're tired, when you're drunk, when you're angry, when you've lost a friend, an enemy, a lover, hope. A mind is a large empty room in which two persons meet. for you. 